Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the third vlog from our trip here on the Isle of Wight. And the sun is trying to shine today, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit warmer today. It's quite surprising this morning when we got out of the hotel. I could have put my shorts on. I oh, know, it's warm. <laughs> Where are we today then, Charlotte? We're at Robin Hill. We are indeed Robin Hill Country Park. Now, of course, this is the sister park to Black Gang China. It's owned by the same family. Of course, that's a little bit further along here on the island. And yeah, they actually do like a two-part ticket, uh, which is great because, of course, you can come to both of the parks then but uh, oh we hear that in the background we've got loads of peacocks in fact if you look on the roof just behind us over there you can just see some of the uh, peacocks they're everywhere here at robin hill now yes it is a country park there's only a few rides here there's a 4d cinema there's a pirate ship there's actually a bobsleigh ride here as well that i like a good old toboggan so we'll be going on that and uh, yeah along with that there's just some nice little walkthroughs here and uh, yeah like i say it is more of a country park than a full-on theme park but i said this last time three years ago i can see them maybe putting more rides in here at some point in the future because it's got some really nice areas here and uh, yeah of course they've also got a falconry show as well so we'll uh, check out that and uh, put in some highlights in the vlog but so uh, yeah come and join us for a little uh, tour around robin hill charlotte's first time here yeah i'm excited to see what we have to offer yeah it's just a nice little family park of course on a day like today when it's not raining it's nice just to chill out here relax and take in the wonderful settings and of course we've got some peacocks as well to see so come and join us here from robin hill country park on the isle of wight here we go, so there's some of the peacocks up there on the roof, just uh, chilling out there above the cafe. And then you've got a white one just over there as well, I don't I've think I've seen it. I've never ever seen a white one. Yeah, well, a white peacock just there. Charlotte was like, it's not a peacock, it's uh, a chicken, did you say? I know, a swan. a swan, not a chicken. It's definitely not a chicken, but yeah, I love how they're just all like chilling out on the, uh, on the roof up there. But yeah, sun's coming out for us today, it's lovely. We've got lots of uh, play equipment here as well. Yeah. Another great part for the kids, and big kids, like Charlotte just over here. <laughs> we'll have a little look at the map. Right then, so here's a look at the map for Robin Hill. Of course, the entrance, we've just come in and we're standing somewhere around here. Off to the left, that's where you got the different rides. You've got a train ride and also uh, the pirate ship there as well. Off to the right, you got the 4D cinema and we've got like the nets around there as well that I we're going to find. Go the and of course, you got the toboggan run just up there. That's an upcharge, isn't it? Yeah, it's 150, I believe. I didn't realise they had giraffes and stuff. Yeah, they've got a few different animals as well to see just uh, up the top just here. So yeah, we'll uh, go and check out the uh, animals. And yeah, of course, we've got lots of different lakes and areas to walk around in this wonderful country park. Right, should we go and find these, um, yeah, let's these go nets? Yeah, find the nets. Number 34 just there. Here we go then. So we've got the Skywalk net bridge just here. You're going uh, flying down there, Charlotte. Yeah, lots of different uh, walkthroughs here. I'll give Charlotte a bit of a bounce down there. Hey! <laughs> down this way. So yeah, we've got all these big nets to walk through here at Robin Hill. But yeah, if you haven't already, check out the vlogs that have already gone on from this trip from Black Gang Chine, the oldest theme park in the United Kingdom. And uh, yeah, along with that as well, we went to the Needles, didn't we? We've been to the Needles. Needles. <laughs> needles. 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 What is this? Oh yeah, this is something for you to crawl through. I remember this last time. Here you go. So yeah, you got this that brings you up. You crawl underneath. There you go, this is one for Charlotte to do. Oh, I can't do that. There you go, you just crawl and then you come back out over this side just here. You, yeah, you kind of come underneath it and back up to the top. If you won't do it, I'll have a go. Oh no, I don't know if I can do that. Go on, have a go. It's all wet. Is it? Oh, you'll be all right. It's a nice day. So here he is. I've sent him down. Oh. This is why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I feel like you're struggling there, I'm Sean. Stuck, Charlie. You're stuck. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> see you on the other side. So as you can see, he's gonna be going underneath these wires and there he is, crawling see, through. Yeah. So there he's crawling go. through. And then he's gonna go up here and then back out the top. Oh it's uncomfortable. Here he is, the squirrel. Squirrel? That's what it's called. Oh, it's Squir called a squirrel. Is it squirrel run? Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Well, I think a squirrel can go faster than this. Like, there we go. You're not escaping it. You've got to have a go now. I'm not. Oh, oh, oh. oh lovely. Oh. No. <laughs> there you go. Squirrel run. Well, that was certainly a bit different, wasn't it? And here you go, you've got the main nets just over here. So yeah, you've got like this aerial walkway, which is pretty tall up here, actually. Are you gonna go in the net, Charlotte? Yeah. You're definitely going in the net. So here you go, so you go around this corner. All like the very jungle vibe audio that we've got going on. Here you go, yeah, so we're gonna crawl all through these, go up and down these different towers. 
and round the corner. Yeah, these are good fun actually. I've, some places actually have these as like standalone attractions, don't they? Yeah, they do. It looks quite fun, this stuff. Yeah, it does. Got a little uh, seating area over there. They, again, they have a lot of events here, much like at Black Gang Chine in the summer. They do like a, a special summer event with all the lights on and yeah, it looks quite nice. Definitely something to do in the future. I say in the summer, we are in the summer now, but I mean like in the actual summer holidays. Here we go, here comes Charlotte, down the big nets, <laughs> It's like you've been caught like from the fishermen, you know, out there on your boat yesterday at the Needles. Yeah. <laughs> Net. Here we go. We've caught you. What have we caught? It's a fresh Charlotte, everybody. Here, <laughs> here we go. So we've got to go around this way. We've gradually got to uh, work our way up through here now. <laughs> here she is, crawling up. Here we are. We're going to get absolutely soaked because of how much rain there's been over the past few days. Uh, oh, knocking my head. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the good fun, though, these are. Massive nets. Here we go. We can have a little uh, bit of a bounce on here, Charlotte. Whee! Oh. Yeah. Oh <laughs> She's holding on for dear life. Yeah, you know, it's like a little trampoline, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like the music round here. It's probably not one for you if you're scared of heights, to be honest, because you can see right through down there, and it's only the nets that are uh, keeping you up here. It's good fun, though. Oh, you've got to crawl through these different sections just here. Here we go. Uh, you're going to be like a squirrel now going up this bit. Here we are. We've got these big nets now. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, there's Charlotte over there. <laughs> Going for it. Oh, they're so wet, these. Oh, oh my God. This is not easy to do when you're holding a camera and you got a bag on your back. <laughs> this is not easy, is it, Charlotte? It's not easy. We've got a kid behind us telling us it's easy. It's not. Oh, it's not easy. <laughs> It's easy if you're small, but not if you're big, like us. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh. But it's alright for them, not for us. I'm soaked, Charlotte. Yeah. Oh my god. It's good fun, too. It's Jungle Heights, this is called. Yeah, I got that big uh, one just over there. Yeah, it's quite good fun, this is. Something a bit, uh, bit different. You look shattered. Took it out of her. Yeah. We go carrying on down this way now. You're right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so You're all right there, Charlotte. I'm yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just keep going side to side like this. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good fun. I'm leaving you behind now. See you later. No. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Carry on around this way. We're nearly at the end now. Don't worry. Not going to get too much wild, more wet. Oh. Hey, I'll last after you. After you. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Takes it out of you, this does. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little funny dance coming down there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you would not want to be doing this if it was chucking it down with rain. There she comes. Charlotte, everybody, after a little fall. Are you all right there? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Oh. Can you come out down here? That's it, Jungle Heights, everybody, here at Robin Hill. Well, I took my coat off. I'm absolutely sweating now, especially after going around the nets. It's not a bad day at all today. I mean, originally, when we booked this trip, we thought, oh, it's going to be lovely and sunny all weekend. Then we looked at the weather forecast the other day, prior to coming over to the Isle of Wight, and uh, yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be raining all weekend. But we've not done too bad yesterday and today. Now, Charlotte has had to uh, go off because she's actually got to do some construction work, as we can see down here on this play area. Here you go. What are you building for us today, Charlotte? I'm building a roller coaster. Oh, I've got a Wasp like attacking my ear just here. You're building a roller coaster? Let yeah. me uh, let me come over and see you. What what sort of coaster are you building? I'm building an alpine one. An alpine coaster? Yeah. Oh wow, well that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Construction's just underway, we're in the very early stages. I can see that. I like how you're matching with your vehicle as well there. I know. Uh, we need a few more workers because I've got two more vehicles to well, go. If you're coming down into Robin Hill, maybe you can help build the coaster. If you can help build, that would be great. On this awesome play area. But yeah, nothing moves or anything, but just quite a nice uh, little play area isn't it? We're going to carry on heading down in that direction now to the lower part of Robin Hill.
Well, the toboggan is unfortunately closed at the moment. However, there's some staff there that look like they're starting it up for the day. I think because of all the rain that we've had, it has been closed due to that. So fingers crossed, it will open up this afternoon. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, they're running the little lift and stuff over there for it, so fingers crossed. But yeah, it is more of a country park here. Like I say, and you've got all of these wonderful little areas like this where you've got the big lake here. You've got like the pagoda style structure over there, the little rope bridges. It's a very pretty little place, especially on a nice day. I mean, if the sun was shining, you could bring a picnic or get some food here at the park and just chill out down here on the grass. It's just a very nice place with lots of uh, different play equipment as well. That's what it's more about here. Yes, there's a few rides, but it is more about the play equipment and of course the toboggan. But yeah, you can see it just over there. We'll be coming back down this section a little bit later on. Like I say, the staff over there, so I don't think it's too far away from opening. They're probably just clearing up uh, the track just to make sure that it's safe to oh, operate. Yeah, there's somebody on it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, staff test going on. I think it's literally going to be opening imminently. So you've got this really pretty walkway here, of course, where you can go down in between the water, which is quite nice, isn't it? I suppose they've got to get the water levels right for this because it'd be overflowing, wouldn't it, over the side? Maybe if it rains too much, they have to drain some of the water out. I'm not too sure. I should be uh, yeah, down here in a little swimming pool, and I don't think Charlotte would like that, would you? Oh, no. <laughs> there you are. Imagine if the water just came up and like, oh, you get soaked, wouldn't you? At least you'd be able to stand in it. Yeah, yeah, just about be able to stand in it. Oh, we're in across the little rope bridge over there. It's quite a nice little feature down here in this little garden. Of course, you've got the little uh, pagoda style entrance structure with its very oriental theme just over here as well. Very pretty, really nice. Like I say, they do quite a few events here over the, over the year. So um, I know they do like a hot air balloon festival here at some point. That'd be really nice to see with it being such an open space as well. Yeah, I imagine they probably do that down here on this big uh, open piece of grass that they've got. Charlotte is very happy. What is this over here? Goat, I believe. You think that's a goat? Got it's either the Wicker Man from Alton Towers I think it's a goat. or a goat. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it, with the little face on the front just yeah, there. It's got like his little horns. It's a goat. Isn't it's it? a goat bench. It's really it's warm lovely. today. Really nice. Let's go for a little walk around this way now through the forest. But yeah, I think all of this area is used for one of them events. I mean, they've got a lot of lighting set up around here. Got some speakers as well, like you can see just over here. It's just playing a soundtrack, like a very sort of calm piece of music just playing around here. But yeah, they got all the lights on the side. So yeah, I do think that this is one of them areas that they use. And this to me looks like it's a little stage area. So maybe they have the performances out on the water just here. And there's a bar set up as well. So yeah, love this audio though. Just listen to it. Just really calm. Yeah, really peaceful. All the nice flowers down here. Very pretty. You got the little pagoda to sit under down here as well. Nice little bridge over there. It's very pretty. Really, really pretty. Really nice and peaceful down here with that background audio. The pagoda, the bridge, just the sound of the water cascading down the waterfall just over there. It's lovely. I really like to see what they do around here at night. It's gorgeous in the daytime, but I imagine at night, the lighting and stuff around here, it's really nice. But yeah, definitely a performer on that little stage. There's like a random black chair on there. So I reckon they maybe have somebody on a guitar or a singer or something over there. But it's really nice. If you're coming down here in the summer holidays, come and check it out. Now, you know me, if you've watched this channel for quite a while, you'll know that I love a good water feature. Well, you want to see a good water feature? Look at this. Wow, like, I love it with the oriental feel to it. And of course, you got the uh, waterfalls coming down both sides. Honestly, this looks really nice. I don't remember seeing this last time. In fact, I definitely didn't see it. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. This is the sort of thing that I'd love in my garden at home, just to chill out, edit some vlogs. Oh, this is lovely. What do you think of this? This is absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything quite like this. Yeah, you got like the pagoda and that's the sound of it as well. It does make me need to go to the toilet. I think I need a wee, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, like the view here is lovely. Oh, honestly, that is an amazing feature and great theming too. What a lovely part of this garden. That's probably my favorite part of Robin Hill, other than the toboggan. Love the toboggan. Like, looking forward to getting on that, hopefully this afternoon. It's just so picturesque and beautiful. And with all the trees and planting around here as well. Honestly, it's so nice. But yeah, look at that view. It is stunning, isn't it? Definitely didn't come down here and see that last time. Oh, well, that was lovely down there. Really nice and calm. Really nice, but I've got somebody who I think 
You'll love to me. Go on, who? It's Rusty. Ru what's Rusty? Whoa, Rusty's a dog. Rusty. Now, do you think he's called Rusty because he's actually gone rusty or not? I'm not too sure. Because <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's supposed to not be rusty, but he was called Rusty originally. But of course, he's gone rusty. He's like, look at that. He's got a rusty tongue just there, haven't you, oh. Rusty? And look at his body. So I don't think the rust is supposed to be there, but I think it's quite funny how he's called Rusty and he's going rusty. Yeah, I said rusty way too many times, Hi, haven't rusty. I? But yeah, he said it again. Oh, see you later, Rusty. Right then, so we've made it to the African adventure, as Charlotte pointed out earlier on on the map. I was animals. really excited because I thought, oh my god, we're going to see some giraffes <laughs> and some elephants. Well, we are, but they're not real. <laughs> yeah, I remember from last time, I thought I went upset her at the start of the vlog. Well, here we go. Yeah, we've got this little African adventure walkthrough. Let me spin you around. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm fuming. Why? Like, this is lovely. Well, I was expecting like real animals. Look, you got a real elephant there. We can, real. we can pretend it's real if you want. Make an What's an elephant sound like? <gasps> what was that? Don't ever do that again. That was terrible. Like, it, it more goes like, it gets your trunk out and goes like, or something like that and squirts water out. Definitely not that. We've got some zebra over there as well. Zebra, whatever you want to call them. I know in America, they always call them zebra. Have you? We've got uh, a leopard down here. Leopard? No, <laughs> definitely leopard. Definitely a leopard. There we go. Oh, who's this over here? I like you. God, can you imagine coming face to face though with like one of these? Honestly. I imagine coming face to face with this one. I can get on the back of him. There we go. There we go. That's like a photo waiting to happen, isn't it? There we go. Let's get a nice picture of me on here. I think you should do. It's lovely. Why not? Here we go. So you got some more play equipment down here. You got the giraffe just over there. You got all this climbing equipment. There's a rhino down there. You can get yourself up there if you really want to. <laughs> there you go. Lots of nice seating areas though. Carry on down this way. Yeah, you got quite a few different food options available. Little cafes as well. I'll be sampling some food most likely. Sampling some food? Yeah, I'll be having a little something for my lunch. Oh, there you go. Well, I went to Morrison's and I've got uh, a nice sausage roll. For lunch. Bargain, didn't we? Yeah, what did we get? Sausage rolls for one fifty. That's cheap. That is. Cheap well, I... little yellow sticker. <laughs> well, I thought oh, I'll get them sausage rolls, um, and then I'll have them for lunch today because we've got one more vlog that's going to be coming up from this trip. We're going to Shanklin. Shanklin. Shanklin, where we've actually got a little credit to get. Yay. The second coaster here on the Isle of Wight. I've not actually got that one before, so we're going to be heading to Shanklin. That'll be the fourth and final vlog coming up from this trip. I like how they've got the uh, slide painted just there, like a zebra. It's quite nice isn't it got some more animals over here we've got a buffalo just over there rhinos right a couple of buffalo actually quite like buffalo to be honest buffalo falls here we go oh we've got an ostrich over here got an alligator down there there you go so yeah the real animals for you yeah <laughs> charlotte's disappointed <laughs> she's disappointed there you go yeah i reckon they use this for uh, the events down here this is a nice little area like you said something to me, didn't you, when we were walking down, like it would be a nice place for getting married, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be, yeah. Like something like this, you know. Like, lovely. I don't know if they do with weddings and stuff down here, but yeah, it's very nice. Right then, so we've got a bit of information for you now. Charlotte is the theme park worldwide history expert over here. I am, yes. And you're going to tell us a little bit about the Romans, I believe. So, the Romans had grapes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> But more no, grapes, please. The, more grapes, please. But no, the real story is that if we see this model that is just nicely displayed out over here, of course you can see, I believe that this actually used to be nearly 2,000 years ago, just out the front here on this grass. So yeah, it's amazing, isn't it really? How, yeah, I mean, it shows you like a rendering up here on the screen of how it would have looked. Yeah, nearly 2,000 years ago. There you go, look at the Combley Villa as it once stood in its former glory. So yeah, of course, that used to be here on this site. It is amazing to think of our history, isn't it, here in this country, though? Yeah, it is. 2,000 years ago, like, there was buildings like this. I mean, it, it, it is crazy. It really is when you think about it. You know, of course, there's nothing really left of it today. But yeah, like, of course, you've got the model of how it would have been just out here on the grass. Like crazy on this big area. So I imagine, I mean, I said last time that I could see them putting maybe more rides and stuff here in the future. They probably wouldn't be allowed to build on that big piece yeah. of grass. I doubt it. I quite find the Romans quite interesting, to be honest. It's like it's got an ear that 
like a battle with like 50,000 people watching. It is crazy. It's crazy, isn't it, really? To be honest, you'd really like to see the Colosseum probably in yeah, Rome. I would like to see that. It's quite interesting, a lot of history with it. Really. Yeah, nice I to see. went there what five years ago now, six years ago, and, and that was great. And the good thing is, there's a couple of theme parks nearby that we can we can tie into a trip as well. But yeah, it is fascinating. So yeah, it's a little bit of the history of the Robin Hill site for you. Anyway, didn't see this last time, so we're going to catch it today. We've got the falconry show that takes place just around this corner. A lot of people have said that it's very good. And I know that a lot of people like a good falconry show, so we're going to get some footage of that now. And we'll put it in for you. Who's your friend that you got over here anyway? Who's this? Just a Roman man. I think it's Julius Caesar, isn't it? Is it not Julius Caesar? Sure. I don't know. Is it Julius Caesar? Is it, He's got um, a lovely cake. Claudius? I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's lovely. There you go. Are you coming to watch the Falconry show with us? No, he's not. This guy, he has more pound of pressure in one foot than a fully grown bit of Rottweiler has in his jaw. About 240 pounds per square inch of pressure in these things. And that does mean for him, that he could be quite a dangerous bird. But he also does think that either we're all weird looking owls or that he is a strange looking human himself. So there does come a few issues. Now he has these lovely little ear duffs and these are just great ways of telling us how he's feeling. They're nothing to do with hearing whatsoever. In actual fact, they are just a communication more than anything. Go on. And they have three different. What's going to happen is your males are going to split off into their own team. They're going to go running through the undergrowth, through the bramble, the bracken, and the brush in search of food. And when I say running, I do mean on their little legs, like tiny little murder chickens. They're going to run through. As soon as it's super tied out, it's then the job of the big alpha females. It's the job of the big alpha females to come along and make that kill. Up above, ready to catch it straight out of the sky. Give him a grand applause. Used to what's known as free hack. Now I'm going to go in depth in a little bit of falconry here, where free hacking is where you allow your bird to do whatever it wants. Get this going because now he will try and catch this law. And the whole point of this is trying to show you what they would do in the wild. Because being a lana falcon, they go for aerial game for the most part. Now he'll catch anything up to the size of a guinea fowl, which is quite a large item of prey in comparison to his weight. He weighs one pound, one ounce, so he's not a very large bird at all. So instead, with him, it's his intelligence. He needs to catch them by surprise. There's no wind today at all, so it's not like that. And across most of sort of Asia as well, really. And these kites, they will even, they've even been recorded taking embers to other grassland areas. So they'll pick up a burning stick and they'll take it with them all the way to another grass and to throw it onto the dead grass. And they know that this is going to make a fire and they know that fire scares things like insects out of the grass and also small birds. Meaning so you've just seen a little bit of footage there from the falconry show. Very well trained birds there. Yeah, really well trained. I got a bit nervous at some point. They got really close. <laughs> Honestly, they were flying. Of course, they've got all the different posts for them to fly to. I mean, very well trained. Definitely. But yeah, definitely worth coming to check out. I think they actually have different birds at the different shows from what he said. Normally, they do have like big eagles and stuff. So I did miss Bigger seeing birds. that. But Obviously, well, like a smaller bird show. He said that the later show, they bring out the bigger ones. Yes, yeah, so. so I suppose people who are here all day might go and watch the second one later yeah. on. Because we saw, what, three different birds there in that show. The owl was my favourite. The owl was really cute. Like, it was massive. But mm, when, when they were saying, you know, they can go and, like, hunt for deer and stuff. It's like crazy. You wouldn't think a bird would be able to do that, would you? But yeah. there you go. Obviously, very powerful. And then how fast the last one was there. He was zooming around everywhere, wasn't he? He was going ridiculous speed. Anyway, we're going to have a look down at the tobacco now and fingers crossed we can get on there and then we'll head up and do the other rides got the little safari train and also the pirate ship as well and the 4d cinema right then it's literally just open the lady's just come down opened the queue line and took the sign off hasn't she yeah here we go it's quite good this i'm excited I yeah love a toboggan to not been on one for ages no, yeah not. it is one pound fifty to ride i think the reason they charge is because of days like today when it can't open due to uh, the rain or at least because of the rain that we've had over the past couple of days so yeah instead of including it in the admission fee um of course and, and increasing the price of the park entry they make it a little bit cheaper than it would be normally and then of course um charge a little bit extra for the toboggan but yeah one pound fifty it's only 50p for a child so it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. No, no, it's not. You've got to do it if you're coming here to Robin Hill. Like I say, from what I remember, it is quite good. Of course, get the lift hill takes you all the way up and then you make your way all down this way. So we've got the GoPro on. Let's go and ride the toboggan. Oh, here we go. Going up the lift hill. Oh, yes. 
Good old wee gand, love him. Hey, here we go then. We got a little push out on this one. Up to the lift hill. We're gonna make it. Oh, oh, oh. Just about. Oh. Oh, there we go. We're on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, with the easy push forwards to go. And of course, you bring it back to brake, but uh, yeah, I don't like braking on these. You don't want to be braking, dear. Where's the fun in that? Got the little slides over there as well. Probably uh, have a go on those shortly. We're yeah, having a nice day down here at Robin Hill. Like I said, there's not really loads of rides here. Similar to Black Gang Chime, really. You know, it's not loads of rides. It's more about the walkthroughs and here with it being a country park. I think I can hear Charlotte there behind me. There she is. Hey! Just engaged on the lift. She hasn't got to worry about uh, me braking anyway. <laughs> there you go. It's quite a big lift. Hill. This takes you all the way up. Obey all signs. All signage must be obeyed at all times. You can also buy a gold pass, which is £10, and you can ride this as much as you want all day. So it's quite pricey, really, but if you want to ride it all day, why not? There's a look at the toboggan. Oh, she's going slow. I'm glad we're not behind her. Here we go. That's the problem with stuff like this. You want to make sure, you know, you've got nobody in front of you, really. Luckily, I don't think anybody is. Avoid collisions. Here we go. Make it up to the top. Yeah, manufactured by Wiegands. These are some good stuff they do. Love their attractions. Don't don't break on bends. There you go. No braking. Don't worry, it won't break at all. <laughs> Here we go. Push the lever all the way forwards. That's the key to this. Get a good start. Here we go. Do not stop here, and we're off on the toboggan. Whoa! Hey! Lean into the corners a bit, that's my advice for you. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh my god! Woo! Oh, picking up the pace. Bit of airtime. No airtime. <laughs> Whoa! I haven't had to use the brake yet. Shall I use it on this corner or not? <laughs> we'll just lean in. Whee! Whoa! Here we go, and into the brakes. That will slow it down. Lovely. There we go, nice fast ride on the toboggan there. Lovely. Just waiting for Charlotte to emerge, here she is. Coming down, oh, there we go. Not too much break in there. Oh, she's slowed right down. <laughs> Why are you going so slow? Here she is. That's a bit slow there. Hello. Hey. Good toboggan, that. quite a good uh, layout on there as well. Lovely. Well, Charlotte came in very slow there. I am a bit disappointed. Well, when I was going around the corners, it was like on its side and I was scared I was going to tip out, so I came in a bit slow. <laughs> you got to lean in, Charlotte. I know. Lean into the corners. I like... didn't make the lift up at the bottom. I had to be pushed onto it. <laughs> well, you saw me on the GoPro. I was struggling. I was just trying to push myself I forward. I completely stopped. It's a quarter of a mile run, though. I think it's worth £1.50, yeah, that. I think it's a good price. I think really, really good. Yeah, yeah good layout. If you want, you can pay £10 for your gold pass. You and can you can ride, ride all day. All day. I tell you what, it's getting warm now. Hopefully. It'll be nice for this afternoon in Shanklin. That's a little seaside resort here, and we're going there next this afternoon. And uh, like I say, down there we've got a little coaster to get on. We're going to be having a round of uh, adventure golf, and yeah, let's have a little look around it's Shanklin. Some gift shops. Gift shops. Oh, we might get a little seagull model or something. Hopefully. Anyway, we're going on the hillbilly slides just here now. These look quite fun. Might get some uh, airtime. Yeah, look at these, the hillbilly slides. Charlotte is off. She's going to tell you what. I'll film you come down first. She is running. Then I'll uh, go and have a go. There you go, one person at a time on the slides. Do not carry children down the slides. Don't climb up the slides and do not use in wet weather. You get in there, Charlotte. Just about, she's getting up there in the lovely sunshine. Look at them slides, snake slides over there as well. I think we'll, uh, we'll have to have a go on those in just a moment as well. Here we go, she's made it round. Yeah, you can see them all coming up the lift hill just there on the, uh, on the toboggan next door. Here we go, she's made it. We don't know how fast these go or anything. Here we go. She's off. Here we go. Hey, hey. Oh, they're quite quick. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just seeing the snake slides that they've got over there as well. They look quite uh, quite good. Here we go. With that. I'm at the top now, ready for the slide POV. Which one did you go down? It looked quite good. This one. 
I'm thinking you might have warmed it up for me, you see. Here we go. Oh! Okay, nothing. nothing! Oh no! Oh, this is rubbish! It's pulling my jeans up! Oh, it wasn't worth the walk up! Oh no! It worked for me! Oh, maybe it's because you got leggings on. Oh, here we go! Oh! Wow, what a disappointment! Oh dear, not very good in jeans. Let me just pull them up. It's like I've got three quarters on now. <laughs> oh, you're going to be shattered running around again. Oh, what a disappointment. So Charlotte's climbed up all of these steps just here. And she's up the top just there. We'll zoom in and see her come down this first slide. Here we go. She's coming down. Oh, tell you what, that was thrilling, wasn't it? That built up some speed. Oh no, right, this is the main one there. You climb up, you don't just get the small one, you get this big one just here. It looks quite high up there, Charlotte. Yes. Here we go, she's gonna build up some speed, here we go. Oh no, lift your feet up, that's it. There you go. Oh no, how disappointing. Stuck. I thought you were really gonna get uh, get going. You need like lubing up, put some grease on. Yeah, I don't wanna give you a push. Oh, oh dear, what a disappointment. Take me to the pirate ship. Here we go then, so over this side of the park, if you take a left when you're coming through the main entrance, it takes you up to this themed area that's just called Rides. There we go, so we've got the Cows Express down here, and we've got Colossus. Now it's not a 10 inversion roller coaster, it's a swinging ship just there, the swinging galleon. Charlotte is roasting hot, aren't you? Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Coats off, it's actually really warm today, like it feels like June, it might not look very nice, but it's actually not too bad at all today. See, so I'll take you around this way. We'll go on some rides, swinging ship. Here we go, then we've got this lovely cow over here. It's Calamity Jane, everybody. You got the gun over the side. What do you think to Calamity Jane? I mean, you've got a lovely outfit there. Nice jeans, lovely top, lovely shoes there. Yeah, look at the nice big boots down there. Nice lipstick. I really like how our horns come through, come the, through hat. the hat, that makes it. But here we go, we've just got a couple of rides down here, then you've got the uh, pirate ship just over there, and we've got the uh, the Cow Express over here, so we may as well have a ride, haven't we? Should we go on the Cow Express? Oh, may as well. Yeah, may as well, that's included in your admission down here. Yeah, why not? Like, let's have a lap round. Here we go, Cow's Express. We've got the swinging galleon just over there behind it. We're going on, why not? the audio. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There she is. Rolling, rolling, rolling. From the Cow Express. There's our little friend over there. Why not? You come to Robin Hill, ride the Cow Express. You may as well. Take you on the pirate ship next. Are you coming on the pirate ship? Oh, she's coming on. Yeah. Oh my God, it's rare. Holy cow. All the cows are we going to get to see on our little adventure, do you think? I think we've got a Star Wars cow over this way. Yeah. There we go, we've got the Obi War Kenobi and the Carth Vader. There you go, do you like that one? Loads of different cows for us to see down here. We've got another cow coming up. Lieutenant cow, like an army themed cow. Love it. All this great theming. Moo Castle United. Moo Castle United. Well, football is big at the moment, there you go. A nice themed one. Blimey, first time this weekend we've seen the sun. I can't believe it. Warm. It is really warm now. Really nice. At least we've not been caught out with the rain though whilst we've been uh, out here yeah. on these parks. It's been okay. Buttercup. Oh, lovely cow. I like how it crosses over this section of track just here. So you get a bit extra on your ride. I like the British cow over there as well. Very patriotic. Very nice. Yeah. There we go. That round by the Star Wars cow. I like Carl Vader. I like how he's got a little uh, lightsaber there yeah. with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably your favourite one, is it? Of all the cows. There we go. See, we've got audio around the ride. Lovely. I'm going to take you on the, uh, on the pirate ship next. That one's got wings just there. Look at his udders there. Oh, oh, oh. He needs to go milking, he does. Milk that cow. Into the cow station. That's the end of our ride. Holy cow. Here we go then. We're on the Colossus pirate ship now. Here at Thorpe Park. I mean, uh, <laughs> Robin Hill. Here we go. 
it's nice having a nice bit of breeze to be honest yeah you've gone really warm haven't you really warm. Got a nice ride there with the cows though which was nice <laughs> hey only three of us on this pirate ship Ooh. Quite a compact one. He actually only fit two in the end rows on here. Oy, oh, it's quite high. All right. Oh. Normally you don't like a pirate ship. Oh, I like this. Nice time going, isn't it? I don't know what's going on with Charlotte. Yesterday she went on the spinning barrels, and today she's come on a pirate ship. Wow. <laughs> we can't believe it. Oy. Oh. It's quite a nice themed ride. This one got a nice big anchor down there as well. Love seeing a big anchor whilst we're out and about. Whee! <laughs> what are you laughing at? A big anchor. Oh, yeah, it's quite a nice uh, themed ship, this one as well. It's got the little uh, statues at the entrance just over there. Quite a nice little cycle. Just got the uh, cinema to do now, haven't we? Yeah. And then, of course, we'll be making our way down to Shanklin. Similar to Black Gang Chime, really. I'd say, you know, maybe three, four hours worth of stuff to well, see. Currently 12.46, so yeah. I mean, it's a token. Yeah, so about three hours, you know, if you're an adult. Like I say, you could spend all day here. There is another falconry show to watch, but if you're an adult, I'd say about three, three and a half hours is probably how long you're going to be at this park. Same as Black Gang Chime, really. And I'd say they've got a similar amount on offer because there's only a few rides here. There's a few rides at Black Gang Chime and, of course, lots of different walkthrough experiences to enjoy. That was Colossus. Thanks for riding. Ten inversions. <laughs> Here we go then. Nice ride there on Colossus. Quite a long cycle on there as well. Still feels weird uh, saying Colossus, but here we go. I've just got to point out some of the uh, restrictions boards that they have on some of the rides here. It mentioned claustrophobia. I mean, it does on here, but it also does on the pirate ship. Maybe because where we were sat like at the back, it was quite a tight squeeze, wasn't it? Do you think so? I wouldn't really class it as claustrophobic, but there you go. Let's look at the restrictions. But we're going in the motion 4D cinema now. Not much point in filming this because, of course, it is a 4D cinema and it's not really going to show up. But yeah, it's like a motion simulator. Not too sure on the times running. I think it just runs like constantly every probably 10 minutes or so as long as the film is. But I can hear it going, I think, just inside the big uh, green building that we can see just there. Like these palm trees that they got down here though, feels like we're abroad. But yeah, we're going to the 4D cinema and we'll wrap up this nice little vlog here from Robin Hill Country Park on the Isle of Wight. It's been a nice few hours, I enjoyed it. So we just come out of the not so 4D cinema at the moment. Why was it not so, Charlotte? You don't have to wear the glasses at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you can't wear them because of COVID. I suppose because they've got to clean them every I time. I prefer it, to be honest. Yeah, because that actually is a very unique 4D cinema. I've never been on one quite like it because normally all you see is you just fasten to the floor and they move. Yeah, but your seats yeah. are quite low down and then it, the sides come up, you're kind of raised up. And there was a lot of movement on there. It's a proper ride system with that. Like, it's a big platform with all of the seats on and the whole platform goes side to side and bounces up and down and vibrates um but yeah there was no other effects running in there but it was a wild west style film i think the film changes at various different points i don't know if it changes throughout the day or not or if they set it on one for the day but i know from looking at the posters it does change at, at different points but uh yeah it was worth doing just one of the attractions down here at robin hill so we've been here just over three hours i've enjoyed it like i say it's not really a big theme park or anything like that it's more of a country park i just like walking around the little uh, like japanese style yeah, garden Really nice, wasn't it? I love that waterfall down there. Along with that, the pirate ship is good fun. There's a couple of bits for the kids. Um, I think the little nets, what they've got down here, they're quite good fun as well. I enjoyed those. Yeah, I got wet though on those. Yeah, yeah, we got quite soaked, didn't we? But uh, yeah, it's not like a full day out. Maybe if you've got kids, you can bring a picnic and stuff. But uh, talking of food, there's not loads of. So options. I was going to have some food here, but a jacket <laughs> potato was six pounds, and I do feel that was quite a bit pricey, so I didn't bother. Yeah, it's and I quite stole expensive. one short sausage. Instead. Oh my god, I don't think uh, he's had a very good day. <laughs> so maybe he's fell over or something. But uh, yeah, you know what? I've enjoyed it. It's worth coming to. And like we said yesterday in the vlog from Black Gang Chine, um, you can get like a, a two park ticket, what covers both parks. And uh, yeah, of course, you can come on, on two days. It's two days out, isn't it, yeah, really? It is, yeah. But so uh, there we go. Thanks for joining us in our third vlog here from the Isle of Wight in this little mini series. We've got one more attraction that we're going to go and see. We're heading down to Shanklin. Not been down there before. Again, maybe since I was a kid, but I've never been back since there was a roller coaster credit. Wow! So we've got a family coaster to get on down there and I think we're going to have a nice game of golf as well. Well, I'll win. Uh, oh, I don't think you will. Oh, well, you'll have to come and tune into that one, viewers. It'll be our fourth and final vlog whilst we're over here on the Isle of Wight. But that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you soon.